right. So this is the uh, starting video for the teardown of uh, my 92 Toyota pickup. Um, so here's the engine that's going to be coming out. It has a blown head gasket. Uh, and then on this pallet over here, here is the engine that will be going back in. Um, yeah, so just starting the disconnect process, um, I guess with the um, air box and um, and whatever this is, the uh, EVAP canister hose or something. All right, so here we go. Okay, um, putting this bolt um, that holds that uh, hose back in here into the intake. Uh, so remember where that is and where that reconnects to. All right, and the next piece is going to be uh, the uh, radiator. So just disconnecting and draining it down here. So there's the radiator removed. Um, I guess there are four angled brackets like this, uh, two on top, two on bottom, and then each one has a 14 millimeter bolt holding it in. All right. So I think the next pieces are going to be um, getting the distributor, the power steering pump um, bracket and then um, I guess alternator will be later on after that. leaving the distributor uh, bolt where it came out of so it doesn't get lost. Okay, so the next piece is um, in here, I want to remove this power steering pump uh, and the bracket that it's on. I think in order to do that, we're going to have to loosen up these um, pulleys here. And also, just for convenience, I guess I'm going to start by uh, pulling off this fan by removing these four, uh, let's look like a 10 millimeter, um, nuts, I guess. The easier method to do that, since that's free spinning, is to just pull these, uh, nuts off of the front here. So I'm going to start with that instead.
So here is the um, power steering pump and bracket free. Um, I unnecessarily removed this bolt. The other ones were all necessary, I guess. One uh, right here by my thumb, uh, one down here underneath that was accessible through the front of where the radiator used to be. Then three on the back here and uh, two over here. So I'm just gonna leave this resting in there for now. Um, haven't broken these lines and I'm not sure if that's necessary. Then also disconnected these two uh, vacuum lines, number one and number seven labeled there uh, that just go to the intake manifold. All right, that's it.